What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the first, ne the next episode rather of my uh, Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire and in this episode we're fighting our first pitched battle against the Ottoman Empire. So they've marched south, we have ambushed them and they have a significant cavalry contingent that will likely be destroyed by our uh, infantry and then their infantry I'm going to assume follows the pattern from uh, Empire in that it's better in melee not so good at shooting although actually these are all light infantry is pretty good they're elite infantry well to be honest once the cavalry force is shattered we're going to surround and destroy their artillery let's just take them out so one thing you're probably not well I would imagine you're not able to do in Napoleon Total War 3 compared to um, Empire is just run your guys up super quick and surround them in the manner that you want them to because uh, everyone moves a bit slower in this game. We will attempt to surround them. So my guns are probably going to deploy... My 12s... There's no great position except for maybe here. So my six is going to deploy with three infantry protecting either flank. We're going to deploy the bulk of our infantry plus our light infantry on the... Although this could be a recipe for disaster actually, it'll take too long for them to get into position. Hmm. Frustrating, but uh, I think the the actual aim of the game is to just push up and advance very, very quickly rather than trying to envelop them, because I think it will take too long. Because your troops march so slowly in this game and get tired so quickly, there's a real risk that if we try to engulf them from all directions, then they will destroy us piecemeal. So my 12s are back there and my 6s are up front. Actually, my sixes may go here, because that works. Same with my twelves. Good. Also, homogenizes my front line a little bit more. Good. Artillery can be a great incentive for a defending enemy on hilly terrain not to just sit there and wait for you. You can bombard them until they move. The cavalry is doing what I would like them die. to do. So the cavalry is going to charge. My, my artillery is uh, just going to barrage all my infantry here deploy into squares until it becomes clear where their focus is going to be for example this infantry can advance and secure the high ground their cavalry here is going to be quite badly defeated by my infantry in square new men advance push the cavalry up I mean, this is quite beautiful. They're quite good looking cavalry, actually. I think my guns are focusing on their artillery, which isn't necessarily what I want. My 12s. You men both drop into square. This infantry advance around the flank. Yep, I think the end is going to be rapid for these. Ooh. You men are running. Push this cavalry up. Brave, but foolish. I haven't even moved my general. Where is he? Okay, good. He's in a he's in an okay place. No, howitzers, get back and man your guns. Set horse guards to go chase down the general. These are some quite elite cavalry here, actually getting mauled and mauled by my square formations. So I want these fellas to... get over their charge so they can push up here. 
So my cavalry and charge their Mamelukes. And we will win. Let's get my general up over here. Okay, good, it looks like. The cavalry has been defeated. So now our infantry need to advance. Bring war to their gunners. You men pursue the general. You men get around the rear of this hill. My men here are going to be engaging the enemy infantry. Yorta Sek Bandla. Both these men engage the veterans. Fire it will off. Where's my general? These are veterans. That's a bit of a concern. So I want you guys to try charge the ninth order just to see if I can break them. Okay, cavalry. Get into the mix. Howitzers both attack that unit there. All you men push on into this order. So those veterans have been defeated. 42nd Regiment charge the flank of this order here. You men hit these gunners. I do. S oh no, they're not. Are they deployed stakes? Kind of. Excellent. Where's my general? You men advance rapidly. You men come after this artillery crew here. Yeah, there's the stakes. With bowmen, by the looks of it. Push on. Stay this side of the stakes. Then we're going to push around and mop up the north. And my, all my gunners just keep engaging. You men mop up this gun crew. This massive gun crew. Their guns have been left. Oh, well, they've all been destroyed. Enemy general's been killed. So this cavalry will one unit go north. Avoid the stakes. These units load and fire. Get in there and surround them. Keep the advance going. You could probably charge straight into the rear. There we go. This sec banda is falling under our musketry. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Exhausted, tired. Cavalry charge through. Artillery ceasefire. So I'm probably going to see some of my own troops route. But to be honest, we've got them on the ropes. You men fall on them from the front. And you men collapse in on the flank. No man escapes. So the 13th Horse Guards cleaving their way through this order. I think it's Bos Bosnali Keskin is routing my light infantry. Well, to be honest, they're all not doing so good. Again, my infantry's falling a lot upon them. Slaughter them. Gain some precious, precious experience. Mm -hmm. 
you men form up. Because fundamentally, what are these? These are just cavalry units anyway that are already quite badly mauled. These guys are already the right side of the stakes. So you men form up. My cavalry can hold, although some of them probably died to stakes. Where's my general? Okay, can he make it over? You men that missed out on the fighting. Push up to the top of this hill, the 4th Grenadier Regiment. Okay, the 14th Horse Guards, the 13th Light Horse and the 12th Horse Guards. To be honest, take them to task. You're in much better fettle spiritually. A rapid advance, this isn't. Ooh, stakes. Yeah, there we go. There's one unit gone. And this last Memlucula. Mamelukes, by the looks of it. There you go, they've been hit in the flank, and they too have fallen. So this first engagement against the Ottomans has gone startlingly well. Excellent. So that army is going to be sent back northward. This army has done a fantastic job. They've got 298 men remaining. They're reinforcing Bucharest. We found an enemy agent. Okay, so then you guys... Oh, great victory there. Victory over the Ottoman Empire. Push up into the trees, because they're in here somewhere. So you chaps can push up. You chaps. Push up towards Mr. Bengston to give him a bit of support before we finally push Bucharest. Still sieging Istanbul, which is probably the right call, I think. You're holding to prevent this army here from going... They may just run past this army here, which would be frustrating, but not the end of the world. These armies are up, ready for the future engagement against the Austrians, but we would like to try and at least take Bucharest and Istanbul and hold this bridge here, potentially taking Iasi. Into the north... Oh, to be honest, lots of our recruitment's just stopped because we kind of don't necessarily need any more men. Good. Okay. Again, no tech that we can get. Let's hit end turn. Ooh, maintain siege. Do not attack. I should have checked his orders. That's Austria's last territory. Just a second, everyone. That's Austria's last territory, so should they march their armies into the woods, uh, we could just attack the city and destroy them and take them for ourselves. Plenty of Russian troops around, though. This could get a bit dicey, I'm pretty sure. I, to be honest, I might just cancel their military access. It would be an antagonistic move, but it would stop their armies from running around in the rear and potentially screwing me over. Ooh, they are sallying from Istanbul. How beautiful. So, you've got Brage, Brag, Bergland, lots of artillery, lots of cavalry. Okay. Let's defend from the sally of Istanbul. These men are going to leave the security of their walls. And then we are going to mow them down in the open field. Although we may actually advance to try to see if we can catch them um, exiting the gate. But it depends on where they deploy themselves. Oh no, they're deploying. Oof. Okay, my 12s. I need to deploy and begin pounding their heavy guns. So let's make sure... We're good too, man. Make sure I break up my... Militia in amongst my regular troops. Just because I don't want them on the flank. But then again, they're not particularly bad. Militia might not have the morale of a good of good troops, but they can still form square, they can still shoot. 
They're, they're not bad. But yeah, in general, just stick with my usual formation. This could get bloody. You can try and push their flank, actually, here on the left. Make sure my chaps are running, so I want them to get into position first. Keep... keep gunning them down. Because those are meaty artillery pieces. We may well require our reinforcing army. Who are they? Sipahi sort of very look like ar armoured lancer cavalry, really. We can push and knock out their flanks, we can just wrap around pretty nicely. Oh, are these like howitzers? These are howitzers. Oh, still. We don't want... Actually, no, don't deploy. Come after my infantry. Please. Oh, it's a barrage. Because they're going to bump into our squares, we're going to repel them. Just managed to get those guys into square. Pretty rookie tick. You guys pivot, because that's their flank. This flank turned. There we go. And the same on this flank. Get the howitzers engaging. Some of their second line cavalry. Mr. Berglund. You guys have to stay in square. You guys can try charge the 27th Order. See if we can shatter them. Mr. Berglund, get up here at speed. You chaps form up. Inspire and rally the men. You guys get out of square and charge into the rear of those Bosnians. Yeah, they broke because they've been utterly surrounded. They too have broken. Form up. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! That's not good. Yeah, understandably, you guys routed. If you guys can... Yeah. There goes our centre. That's us. That centre is conclusively... defeated. You champs go into square. My cavalry, which to be honest is pretty worthless, out on the flanks. Get him in. There you go. Just wanted to move away just enough to be able to drop some guys into square. My gunners are probably going to get hit. Yeah, there they go. You men drop into square because you don't. You know what's coming. You men push on into their gun lines. You men push on into their infantry positions. You chaps try fall back. Just to break. Well, you guys try run into the square. K 
Okay. Get running. Ooh, stakes that we've managed to avoid so far, but we've got a hell of a lot of enemy troops on the run. Okay, you... Yeah, that artillery. You can try pick up the guns, but I don't like your odds. My gunners are very vulnerable. I need to push my uh, cavalry on to hit the gunners. You guys get out of formation, form up against that target there. Ooh, please go for my general. It would be super ideal if they did. Okay, my foot guards hit that unit there. You guys about face. General, get out of the way. I mean, so many dead Ottomans here. You guys should eventually fall to my infantry here. You chaps have broken. These troops are charging into my infantry that's well, in prepared the defensive positions. It's these cavalry that have ran riot through the centre of my lines have now been nullified. There, you guys all push on and attack the general's bodyguard. There's no one else really left to kill. Yep. General's bodyguard is all that remains. Onwards, my Swedish children. Where'd that shell come from? Uh, my guys, the 10th Regiment. Cease fire. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Damn right they must break. Straight on into the 6th Regiment of guns. Yeah, they're routing. Bad times for the Ottoman Empire. It's the 8th Light Horse Hussars. They've ridden them down as well. Well, it's safe to say that our attack into the Ottoman Empire has been a smashing success. Because that is the destruction of the garrison near his dammit. They've got 140 men remaining. Uh, ambush. Oh, we've ambushed them. Auto that. Ooh, we have to fight this one again. Okay, well, it's going to be very similar. Um, but they're, because they're going to they're attack us, and we've actually got a reasonable amount of artillery. We're just going to stand steady. But actually, I think, yeah, they're going to... Well, they're probably going to do what happened previously and deploy ahead of the walls into our faces. Yeah, there they go. Very well. Okay, let's take our troops and form our core defensive line. Twelve's not super useful. Howitzers deploy behind the lines. Foot guards, foot guards, foot Jaeger on the right. Two in Delta and Let Infantry on the left. Caver on the left is going to take some time to wind its way through the town. If the enemy is going to retreat, 
well we well we're going to advance anyway I hear a cavalry charge a glorious victory sir is soon to be yours So drop them into square. New man angle to provide some cover. And yeah, my cavalry's gonna make their way through the woods. Get my general up over here. More cavalry charges. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! It's being under attack. It's under attack from misses. You may drop into square. There we go. They've nicely given us time to form my other unit into square. So now this unit of Memeluka. This unit's probably going to fail. Okay, right. This might get out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Pursue them, don't give them... Our men are running for yeah, that's my militia. Don't give them an opportunity to recover. You men are also going to counter charge in. This cavalry wants to hit into the rear. Rally and inspire. The light horse attack the armed populace. You men pivot. You men march to the guns. My gunners cease fire. All of you. Sans cavalry. Deploy back. That's the armed populace dealt with. You men come back to the front. Cavalry go after the Memeluka. It's a Tata Tatala. So these men can form, well, could form square, could have. So you men come in here and attack them. My horse guards are attacking the Memeluka. You men hit the Tartar in the rear. You men hit the gunners, then hit this Orta here. There you go, they've been dealt with. Get my cavalry out wide. My general try and get back into the into the line. Uh, you guys, the light dragoons, pursue that artillery unit. You guys hold. Form defenses. How it's as engage their veterans to the rear. Mm. 
Oh, there's not many men left there. Who are you? You're the general, or you're just a cavalry unit. So march over to meet them. But there we go. My brave Swedes. Tired, but they are ready to re-engage. So you men will engage these Tartalar. Uh, the skirmish cavalry, so my heavies should make short work of them. You men advance, bring my general up on the left. Advance up my cavalry again, take my right flank, and advance. Because charging these chaps is possible. You guys hustle up and get into position. Provide a devastating close range volley. Of sorts. Eh, I should use my lights to go after their general, I suppose. The other flank looks quite manageable. Could bayonet charge them, probably with the regiment of foot. Oh, and the delta. Try not to send my light infantry in if I can help it. You men continue to engage. See if you can knock out their general. You men go after the armed populace. We and this chunk of my line push on into the grenadiers. Gunners hold fire. These are garrisons, not grenadiers. But my light cavalry are charging in the rear. I got infantry up front who are just waiting for the opportunity to engage. I suppose my artillery aren't firing at will. They're actually listening to me, so I want to limber them up to stop them from firing. Oh, my foot Jaeger were just about to slaughter that unit, but there we go. We're not going to continue because it takes forever. They've only got 200 men remaining. Yeah, so those two frontier territories... Those two frontier territories have been well and truly cleared up. So Mr. Skjoldebrand, can you guys leave Vienna now? Minus one, that's fine. So you will advance up towards Klausenberg as well. So hello Russia. Uh, oh, I can't I think I, I think all I can do is just cancel your alliance, which I think we may do. We're going to still trade, because you may as well make a bit of money. Oh no, hold on. Hold on, have we still got... Can cancel military access. Good. Back you go. Although Mr. Skaldebrand may go north to support... Uh, this falls on the large crook. Because De Deadloff, Deadloff Langler can cover the bri can cover the bridges well enough. I think the main thing is to the south. We've got some clearing up to do. Because you guys can push north, get out of the way here. Because you're going to auto resolve the attack on the city, and we're going to peacefully occupy Istanbul. You're going to replenish. You're going to take Burgas. We're going to destroy the university here because that's not going to help us. We're going to exempt you from tax. Steam powered factory. Good, 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 good. And this navy. Ignore the Ottomans there. Push on up to Burgas here. If you want to try and transport these. Uh, two, these two armies by ship to Odessa, I think, to gain a foothold. Or do we land here and attack Belgorod? Either way. Um, Bucharest. Yeah, you are also ours for the taking. And we're going to peacefully occupy you. 
Good. So you guys are replenished. You men can push up to this bridgehead. You men push up to this bridgehead. Because I'm anticipating war with Austria fairly imminently. Yeah, just a whole bunch of line infantry, but we've stacked up some some strength. We'll even probably go as far as to attack Mr. Kordausch first. And draw this army into the action. So let's hit end turn. Our army to the north is getting into position for the final attack against Russia. Bearing in mind that they've got a buckload of troops. Actually, I, could, I probably should carry on recruiting. Um... <laughs> Because they've got a lot of men, a lot of armies in the field, which we will need to destroy as well as we can. I'm going to need defence in depth. Ooh, are they going to destroy Ot the Ottoman Empire? Looks like they might. Well, no, that's, that's actually good for us. Don't know why you've advanced out, but you've won. Holy moly. Tactical retreat. Uh, is it because this is technically Russian? Okay, that should still count. No, you're still you are still open for the taking. So you may as well push on to I see with these armies. You chaps sail across, so you're replenishing, you're replenishing, everything's repairing, you're repairing, everything's been upgraded from an infrastructure perspective, you're going to be upgraded to a supply post, I suppose. You're also going to push up Mr. Skildebrand in Stockholm. It's going to get recruiting. Good, good, good. Okay, I could probably do with... That's your fresh army, Mr. Odegaard. Got Mr. Steading here as well, though. Let's declare war. They're allied with Austria. We don't care. That should... Ooh, they didn't... They retreated. Fascinating. You men advance. Mr. Steading. Attack Klausenberg. Rudolf Lippert. Balthazar Merck. Adam Krolash and Leonard. Hittinger. So wherever their... Their really good hero is... Not, not hero. Their other chap. He's not here anymore, so you can push on to Odessa. You can push on to Kamenets. Get some intelligence on what's going on here. But let us attack the Austrians. And take the last city. Looks like there's no defences. It's going to be a regular pitched battle. Nice. So... We're going to advance. They've only got a regular arm, regular um, formations of line infantry, and we may take this a bit slow. So I'm going to have six pounders in the line. Split up my militia on the right, where the bulk of my line is, and then we've got a small contingent on the left. We're going to have a unit of twelves to the rear, engaging from range. Then my howitzers are going to push up. My cavalry on either flank. Good. So you men advance up. Just everyone push. They've got a, they've got a big unit of line infantry, big army of line infantry, I should say, but not particularly worried about just line infantry.
We won't know where the reinforcement's going to come in from until later in the action. Are they all stacked up together? Looks like they are. Uh, actually, not entirely. Eh. Oh, hello, General. I'm fairly sure their jet. Well, their jet. The generals seem to be a bit bugged. They'll get kind of within range to attack my stuff, then they'll just freeze. Light horse hit the 37th. Because my cavalry is hidden from the woods, so they're going to burst out from the trees and destroy that unit. Their men have formed many, many squares. You are wise to form squares, for I have good cavalry here. My own 12 pounds have blown a hole in my own infantry. There you go, there goes the general staff. We haven't killed their We've general. Killed their there we have. Now we now have. They must break. How it says unlimber. Nope, don't worry about them. So you men chase down the 37th regiment just a little bit. Pivot these chaps ever so slightly. You chaps are oh, limber. Pivot my infantry to fire onto their flank. Okay, you men hold position, push up the horse guards first. Canister shot and barrage the infantry. Up front. Mr. Stedink, get into position. So you men push up. Hopefully pour a volley into... To be honest, you guys may actually... Any reinforcements coming in from... Bit of an awkward position. Kind, well, kind of an awkward position. Not, not a big deal. There you go. My grand is falling back into the line. Human bayonet charge them. It's a general over there on the flank, so they could cause us some difficulty. Push on my light horse. Keep the charge going into the 34th regiment. You guys pivot. Horse artillery limber up. Horse guards go after that general staff. This light horse. Get ready. You men form up, ready to face whatever's going to come next. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Form square for the cavalry that's about to come in. You chaps, storm in.
Charge! You men form a defensive pike square to try and catch the corner of the sixth light horse. This regiment of troop regiment of infantry may run. You men go after that general staff unit. The horse guards go after the 41st regiment of foot. Maintain my push through their lines, keep my general close. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. There we go, you men. Form line, get my horse guards back, get my light horse to pursue some of these enemy troops. We can see that the bayonet charge on the left flank is doing really well. Militia lead the way. Artillery's going to limber up and get ready to form up against the reinforcements. Do not let, do not give them quarter. Our men are running, sir. Now my own militia are like, nah, we've had enough of this. We're knackered. And rightly so. Cavalry, it's probably the better, smarter idea to be honest. Form up, defensive position. These men form a square, they're going to be hit in the flank by my horse guards. You men better run. They're still pushing on that flank there, but that's okay. That's what I was looking for. This just massive cavalry unit, 364 lancers. Oh, go on then. You men just attack the fourth light horse. Show them what it means to be Swedish. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I am well aware of their fatigue. But for the most part, I just do not care. Oof. Form square, damn it. Get my, my general over here, because he's not going to like that one bit. Everyone form square, everyone form a defensive position because this is that massive cavalry unit that's coming through. Form square, hold the line, give a little toot. Probably completely unnecessary, but whatever, it's cool. Here comes the cavalry. Just withstand their charge for now. See, they're recovering. These two the units push up and secure the flank. Away. Yes, militia, you came back. Yeah, these cavalrymen are going to be done for against my square formations. Not going to charge my light horse in because they are light horse. Yeah, my and Delta can hold their own here. If the enemy overall... Well, if I can... Get these men... Get these cavalrymen to rout, I can countercharge. Or at least attempt to.
Oh, I never moved up my howitzers either. I meant to move all of my guns up to this hill to engage the reinforcements when they arrive. Which they have. See, the infantry can't make their way through. Oh no, they have started to make their way through. Go get them, light cavalry. Hit them on the flank. See if you can turn their morale. You've broken one of my squares. Keep advancing my cavalry. This is thematic, if stupid. Break from the squares and advance. Show them what it means to be Swedish on the march. Yeah, their cavalry's wavering. They've lost half their number. Bring in my cavalry, or that's going to be quite badly spent. On, onward, on into the enemy. Do not let them stand. You guys are actually going to get back. Go on, Mr. Steading, get into the mess. Two units are falling back. So is this Austrian unit on the flank, though? Let's bring these troops into the mix. Attack the fifth light foot. Bring back my light cavalry. Probably smarter to try and form up our defensive line. Lots of my infantry is quite knackered. Get my cavalry to flank around. My horse guard's going to keep hacking away at the light foot because they love a bit of light infantry. Keep pushing, got a flank of the, the ninth, the seventh light foot. Oh, yeah, my horse the artillery. Are a must Trundle up into this position and try and engage the enemy at point blank range. Try to get these in Delta to push in and break the fifth light foot. There they go, because now we can use these men to fire into the flank of the 27th Regiment while you guys keep attacking the fifth. Good stuff. You guys are formed up. Pull this infant, this cavalry back. You men push up. Try to see if my, hopefully my horse guards can stick around and do the damage we need them to do. You men push up. Get my horse artillery up here. You guys have probably destroyed them. You guys have probably destroyed them. Our men are running, sir. I'm sure they are running. Put 
to be honest, a damn sight more of them are routing than my guys. So you men make ready and fire. You men fall upon the seventh light foot. You men fall upon the 34th. You men redeploy against this enemy. Actually, you men deploy like so. You men deploy like so. The men of the Charge the 7th Grenadier the Regiment in the rear. Get Mr. Steading rapidly over to the right flank. He's a Grenadier Regiment, so they may well be able to turn my militia, no matter how frenzied a fellow they may be. Get my horse guards over here as well to help them out. But yes, we'll have a, we will have a formed rank, formed front line, against the remaining Austrian troops. Our men are running, sir. There go the Austrian Grenadiers. Now my infantry do not allow them to recover too much. Good. Cavalry hold the right flank. General get into position. This regiment of Finnish troops can advance back up into line. Or back up into position anyway. Killing some of these reservists by stabbing them in the back. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Get my general up here, because to be honest, we are probably going to look at a bayonet charge to destroy both of these units. As soon as my general's in position. The 17th Regiment of Foot is going to kill. 17th Regiment quite conclusively. Yeah, there they go. And then you men charge on into the 21st Regiment. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. They may attempt to redeploy and engage our men with musketry, but that's not gonna the happen. Men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't give a damn, they got Austrians to kill. Charge! We might not get much of a charge bonus out of this. See, look, they get stuck. Unless they're running away. They'll chase down routing men. But there we are. That last Austrian garrison is destroyed. You can retreat as much as you like. We're going to peacefully occupy Klausenberg. Region capture Transylvania. Trade gained corporal and gold braid. Mr. Stidink. Our oh, Detmoff, we've sorted him out. Um, but yes, there goes the Empire of Austria. They have no uh, territories left. So these guys can just push straight through Klausenberg up to the front, ready to face off against Russia. You can push up against Kiev. Good. Keep checking tech, even though there's nothing to do. Cool. Let's hit N10. Yes, Russia, you're acutely aware that the Swedish Empire has conquered the rest of the world. We're going to come and march into your empire and take it for our own. Russia is on the retreat. You can do as much as you like to attack the Turkish navy. I am not bothered about them. Looks like there are Russian units. Ooh, oh, this is it. Um, can we just completely screw them over if I... Oh, I can't attack them. Okay, let's just go back to the river.
because we're going to get booted back here anyway. Mass my troops at these choke points. Apart from that, there's not a lot we can really do. I mean, we've got a f massive honk and stack of troops here. Uh, but apart from that, there won't be much except attack the Russians. Um, which we're not going to do just yet. You're going to push on... Oh, you're going to... Oh, so you're going up to the... Going up to Ukraine. Okay, everywhere else is quite nicely covered. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for... Probably the beginning of the war against Russia. Cheers, everyone.